substance there in just a moment. But first, let's set the scene. So this happened in an area called La Rambla. It is a stretch of street nearly a mile long. It's full of shops and restaurants, and it is very popular with the locals and the tourists. Pete Montine has been tracking this story all night. And Pete, what's the latest? Leslie, we just learned this. Moments ago, police say terrorists tried to make another attack nearby. It was in a resort town southwest of Barcelona. Police now say they killed five terrorists. They think this is connected to the original attack. There, police have arrested two men, but they say the driver who turned a van into a weapon is still at large tonight. ISIS says it is responsible for the terror that left bodies in the streets of Barcelona. Late Thursday afternoon, local time, a van ripped through this pedestrian plaza. Americans were among the tourists who flock here. In a split second, it became absolute pandemonium. Something happened out on the street um, and then suddenly everything was just running with literally for their lives. Witnesses say the van did not stop for seven blocks. The driver ran away. Police started the tedious task of searching door to door. This earned quick condemnation from the White House. President Trump tweeted the United States will do whatever is necessary to help. The United States of America, together with our allies, will find and punish those responsible and drive the evil of radical Islamic terror from the face of the earth. The Spanish prime minister just spoke, calling the attack jihadi terrorism. Forensic investigators are now working overnight. For that attack, police have two men in custody, a Spanish national and a Moroccan. Again, they stress neither are the driver of the van. This was supposed to be a festive week in Barcelona. All public events have now been canceled. Regional authorities there have declared three days of mourning. Pete Muntean, WUSA 9. All right, Pete, you know that attack in Barcelona is the latest in a string of terror attacks where someone targets innocent bystanders with a vehicle. And law enforcement experts say they can make it harder to hit busy areas like La Rambla, but making it completely secure would be extraordinarily expensive. Now, so far this year, terrorists have used vehicles as a weapon in at least 10 incidents from Jerusalem to London to Paris to Charlottesville and now Barcelona. And the spike in this kind of violence lines up with a call from ISIS leaders to stage attacks with vehicles, a call that once came when the terror network started losing its grip on its caliphate in Syria. It is just after 5 a.m. in Barcelona, and we are continuing to monitor the developments there. We'll have an update for you a little later in this newscast. And, of course, more tomorrow on Wake Up Washington, starting at 425, plus continuing coverage on our website and the WUSA 9 app.